A week-long music workshop is underway at the Orange Regional Conservatorium. Professional performers from across Australia have come together to explore new directions and prepare for a one-off concert tomorrow night. It's hard to predict what will happen when 13 professional musicians are brought together for a week's work. More complex when eight have a mild to moderate disability. The performers have been working together since Sunday. Signs the tunes are starting to percolate to the surface. Working as a professional musician can be tough enough without a disability. The funding for this project came from a government grant. There's some uh, wonderful uh, musicians with disability out there and you know, often with a disability there may be certain barriers or, or you know, challenges that, that come with that and um, that may inhibit people from being able to you know, fully develop themselves as a professional artist. The rehearsals are relaxed. Charlie McMahon moves about, adding the sound of his slide didgeridoo. After losing his arm as a teenager in an explosion, the didge player, who's played with Midnight Oil and on movie soundtracks, believes there's a lack of attitude when he plays with disabled musicians. Oh, well, it's more about the sound than the posing, you know, with these kind of guys, because when, you go, when you're a bit spazzy, or excuse the expression, when you've got a bit of a disability, you tend to have to concentrate more on the sound than the look of the thing. Singer Carol Henry made the trip to Orange from Fremantle. But what's emerged um, is about 13 pieces and every single one of those pieces of music, uh, well, none of those pieces existed prior to last Sunday. Jeff Usher is one of two keyboard players. If you're a musician, and you're also a football player, you know, your, your football playing may, may affect your musicianship, but it may not, having no eyesight, um, well, you look at the great history of, of blind pianists that there have been. Ray Charles, Stevie Wonder, George Shearing. The free public concert will be held on Friday night. Alan Reader, Win News.